Ah, the subgenres of metal. We have grown to love and hate them at the same time. After all, few topics can get our energy pumping and our steam boiling. And we may never actually agree on them. But for a moment, let's have some fun in trying to answer the pondering question, what is the best subgenre of heavy music? Metalheads, welcome to Graphic Metal, where metal is celebrated with design in mind. I mentioned last week that we are finally kicking off some of the beloved series from the past. Metal Reimagined got kicked off last week. Today, we're kicking off Metal Forever. It's a series that unpacks and ponders fascinating topics questions, debates around the history, evolution, what-if scenarios, and just fun debates circling around the rock and metal community and scene, which in return gives a much-needed platform and space for us as a community of metalheads to share our thoughts, our stories, debate, and in general just have some fun. After all, it gets really, really fascinating really, really quickly when you pay it, when you pay close to the details. It's important to note that all of these topics will either be hypothetical in nature, subjective, or simply thoughts and ideas, just like almost every aspect of life's other pondering thoughts. There is no right or wrong. As mentioned, this is supposed to be fun, so try your best not to take anything too literal or personal. And let's also treat everyone with respect. Because of this, what I found effective in the past, though never to this scale, AK online, but worth a shot, is to have a safe word or phrase. For this episode series, we're going to use the safe phrase groovy peanut butter. If anyone uses this phrase, please, everyone stop that thread. Out of respect for the fact that maybe somebody crossed a line or it crossed a line, simply gotten way too weird, or it's just gone, gone on way too long. <laughs> to kick this off, I felt it was fitting to bring back a topic that I raised back in 2009 that still to this day fascinates me. What is the best subgenre of heavy music? This will be a nine part episode series with this being the introduction. Episode two, we will be diving deep into all the different subgenres and the styles of heavy music. Part three, we will be analyzing the highest selling albums within metal. Part four, we will be taking that along with the styles to determine what is the highest performing subgenre of them all. Part five, six, and seven will be basically unveiling the origin story of that specific subgenre within the different eras. And then eight, episode eight, will be the graphic metals picks for the best albums within the subgenre. And then nine, the same thing, but with songs. The genres themselves, at this point, we, we know there are a lot of them. And just as complex as it is, as is with the YouTube algorithm itself. So please remember to press the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if 50 people do, 
I will share one of my most memorable concert going moments as a token of my gratitude. How does that sound? Back to the genres of metal. At this point, as mentioned, there are a lot of subgenres that it has spawned countless lists, forums, and family trees over the years. Graphic Metal has their own tree that we did back in 2008, which probably needs to be updated a little at this point since it's been quite some time. So we'll update it as needed and reveal it during the next episode. But back to the pondering thought and statement. And again, as mentioned, we may never agree on them, but it is nonetheless just a fascinating and fun topic to address. What is the best subgenre of heavy music? In my personal case, I believe I discovered an answer to that question that might surprise you. Even more interesting is that it's a genre that everyone knows, but never admits to being a fan of. But this series is from my perspective. I also want to hear from everyone else. If anyone has any compelling argument as to which they believe should be considered, please share, and if it's strong enough, we'll make another episode series unpacking specifically that, you know, that thought bubble or that subgenre and so forth. To get the wheels spinning, though, we'll share the answer I gave in the past, which surprisingly still seems to hold up after all these years. And I will back it up with the evidence and data to support that. The term best was chosen intentionally as it allows for open interpretations and many, uh, many interpretations and perspectives, right? For my argument, I will be referring best to most popular by leveraging what I believe to be the most effective statistical measurement we might have available to us. In that case, album and tour sales, along with an analysis of what unifies all of them stylistically and thus arriving to a hypothetical answer, which we'll unpack in the next series of episodes. However, tour sales are not easy to come by and get really complicated and messy quickly because you have the awkward relationship between the number of shows to the tickets sold and the amount earned. And it's just messy. But album sales, on the other hand, as long as you don't go too far into the weeds, is very, is very valuable, especially for this specific topic, because you can get down on an album level, which in return helps from a genre-specific uh, element. So we're going to focus on that along with the styles rather than the, than the tours or any other uh, data, unless anybody has any other suggestions of what, what might be valuable as well. With that, on the next episode, which will air either tomorrow or the next day, we will, get, we will dive deep into the breakdown of all the different subgenres of metal as a means of grounding ourselves to the multitude of styles that make up the wonderful world of heavy music, along with giving Graphic Metal's updated version that we originally did in 2008, family tree and genre trees to give things a little bit more context and to have a little more fun visually to depict, to depict that. Uh, after that, we will follow it up with the episode three being, you know, unveiling the highest selling uh, heavy metal albums of all time and so forth to unveil and to hypothetically determine what is the answer to the question, what is the best genre of heavy 
music. So with that, until the next time, cheers and keep on rocking.